Hi everyone. So in the last video I went over a dual throttle body EFI system for the 914. Someone asked what a system like this would cost. I had figures in the original video, but I cut it out as the video was getting a little long. So in this video I'm going to go over a few things in a little more detail. If you haven't seen the first video, best to look at it first and then come back to this one. Firstly, let's go over the costs of this system. Obviously, if you have somebody install something like this for you, you're going to be looking at paying for labor as well. But I am only going to focus on the costs of the parts in this video. So for the throttle bodies, linkage, and uh, manifolds, you're looking at about $1,200. The Megasquirt engine management system and harness is about $600. Fuel injectors, about $180 for four. You'll need a wideband gauge and controller, which will cost you between $200 and $240. Sensors, fuel hose, breather hose, relay box, and fuel will cost you about $400. So that totals to about $2,600 for the basic system to get that running on your car. You will need to add the cost of tuning software, which can vary from free to about $100, depending on which package you choose. So for the amount of money involved here, you might ask yourself, why would you want to do this? So what if we compare the EFI system to the stock fuel injection system? The D-Jet fuel injection came stock from the factory on the 2 liter model. However, the tuning of the D-Jet system is limited. It is generally considered tunable to about 2056cc displaced with mild camshafts. Beyond that, it just doesn't do so well. So let's say you are building a motor that is more aggressive. Historically, you would preferably original Italian Webers or Deloritos. The EFI system is also tunable to any displacement and camshaft profile, and even more precisely tunable through the software. So either the carbureted or the EFI approach would give you a system that is customizable to any displacement engine. But a dual throttle body EFI system like this would be about double the cost of an equivalent dual carburetor system. So you would say, why would I want to choose EFI over an equivalent dual carburetor system? I think the first thing to consider is the improved drivability. The 914 was originally designed to be a fuel injected car. And for that reason, we would want to keep that improved drivability that a well-ordered fuel injection system offers. Another reason to choose the EFI system would be the system is less troublesome to maintain with modern components such as readily available fuel injectors. also say that the EFI system would be more environmentally friendly, largely due to the lack of fuel evaporation and fumes. So that's all for this episode. I will be uploading some more content in the near future. Let me know if you like these videos by hitting the like and subscribe button. This helps me gauge interest. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you learned something. God bless.